Hi guys, welcome back to this 2000 game again with another King of Fires All-Star content. So in this video, we're just gonna be talking about Again, we're in the forums right now. It's official. It's not a dream, guys. It's reality, and it's gonna be coming in. In the, it's gonna be coming in. Okay, uh, sooner than you expected. So there's a lock there. It means that we're in the official site, and it's written here: Developers Handbook Part Two, and it's released on August 18. Okay, just recently. I think this is just today, nine o'clock in the morning. So we're not gonna be talking about the ciphers. What are we talking about? Is the second part of this handbook. It's here. Okay, because like we've seen lots of gacha games. There's like um, SS, um, double S, SSRs, and there's like UR rarity, ultra rare. So it's inevitable, guys. In all of gacha game, most likely the power creep will be coming up and up and up in order for them to keep the game, uh, the longevity of the game moving forward. So they need to introduce rarities. Unfortunately, the introduction when the BS memory was introduced, so it now dashes dashes our dreams of having bs and ss characters as the mainstay of the game once they've introduced the memory system that they're giving us the memory free memories of bs and ss on the demos base i'm not quite sure why they haven't bring it back please net bring the demos base back i know it's the bs and ss are irrelevant right now but still we want like leveled up characters okay so bring back demos base but the nerf demos base not the buff one Okay, and then give us the SS and BS memories as rewards and rubies as well, if you don't mind. Okay, and then after that, the introduction of the EX, EX fighters. And then when the EX fighters were there, people are complaining, ah, it's very hard to get EX memories. Can we get EX memories? Can we get EX memories left and right? Look, okay, Netmarble listened, but it's a double-edged sword. Whenever they give you what you want, they're gonna make something else, okay? Because they still need to earn money. Again, this is a gacha company. They need to earn money. And again, once the EX memory are introduced, that's the time, like, people are gonna be thinking, ah, I don't really need to spend my money on EX fighters. I'm just gonna be summoning one character, and I'll just wait three months, and I can A3 my character. Some people, if you're free to play, you can do that. But, like, if you're whales, you're still gonna be spending. But nonetheless, the fact of the matter is we can access an EX memory every month, and we can level our EX fighters moving forward. But now, here is the caveat okay here is what we've asked for we've asked for the ex memories we've got it but the problem is they're not gonna be getting too much they're not gonna get money guys they're not gonna get money for that what they did like they've listened to the player base but double edged sword they need to introduce another level so let's go here where the heck is that where should they where the heck is tier 9? See here, 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 here. See? We have now illustrated all the content we have prepared for. We will continue to listen. Lastly, the UE grade. So it's the ultra rare. Okay? Special site awakening 5 tier. See? <laughs> so we have also prepared generous rewards so you can acquire two types of ultra rare fighters through the event. I think Ash, it might be Ash and Maki. Would be the first UE characters, maybe. So, event reward preview, uh, special site awakening 5 tier UE grade fighter event play. So, when you play the event, you're gonna get fighters, ultra rare fighters, which is good. Which is good. Which is good. Which is really, really good. So, see, look at this awakening tier 9. Okay, ultra great ult ultimate fighter. A fighter is endowed for characteristics of ultra great awaken tier nine. But the thing is, tier one to tier seven, they're make it. They're gonna be making it much more easier for the player base to awaken. Okay, so um, see along with this, the supply and demand of prime memory and difficulty of growing existing awakening tiers one and seven will be eased considerably. So us getting ex memories will be much easier. I hope so, and then we can easily level them to one and seven. We'll see. We'll see about that. And then, if you use Phantom, like, it's not Awakening skill again. Like, usually, we're, we're doing Awakening, right? If our, uh, awake, like, we've attained that level, we can awaken our fighters to spam the skills. It's called Phantom Awakening skill. Phantom mode. Then, there's a Phantom gauge. We'll see what's going on with this. Um, and, yeah, it's written down below. You Ultra Rare. Ultra Rare. I'm just gonna call it Ultra Rare. I'm not gonna call them Ultra U UE. 
Ultra rare fighters have certain momentum over power and phantom stat that can acquire more of these stats on enhanced two plugins. So, but they're gonna be giving us, see, at the end of this, lastly, we, as the new ultra rare grade is added, this time we have prepared contenders to enjoy the content and we have also prepared generous reward. So, the thing is, the introduction of this is there's gonna be a, an uproar for the player base, but the good thing about Netmarble is they're trying to ease, okay? They're slowly integrating this uh, on us by introducing lots of rewards. And hopefully, we can get two characters. It's written here. Or we can get only one. See? See, we also prepare generous rewards that you can acquire two types of two types of UE grade fighters through the, uh, through the event, Okay? So we might be getting one, but two different types. It's all I, it's all blurry here. But the fact of the matter is, ultra rare fighters are coming into the game. And guys, the good thing about Netmarble, it's they're telling us telling us now, okay? And then they're easing us to integrate to this new system by giving us lots of rewards for us to acquire this kind of character. Most likely, everybody will have them uh, one UR character for the first. Uh, introduction and then so on and so forth we'll see what's going on but like it's inevitable guys uh we've seen it as all of the gacha games if you played other gacha games it's the same um you just don't want to hear from netmarble telling you this one okay but like the fact of the matter is um it's five years it's getting there but like comment on the comment section do you feel like it's not a good great move for netmarble or it's an expected change because of the introduction of the ex members i would like to hear from you guys again this is 2300 gaming i'll be talking about more on uh, what's gonna be happening in the state of the game in my own opinion and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out Bye bye